Hello viewers. Today L am going to discuss a very important topic, the different structures which are pierced during spinal anesthesia. So, I have draw a diagram that you can see. Let's start. The first structure which we can pierce is the skin. The second one is subcutaneous tissues. The third one which we pierced is supraspinous ligament. Which lies above the spinous process of vertebra. The fourth one is the interspinous ligament. Which lies between these spinous processes. The next layer is the ligamentum flavum, which is the hardest layer. When we pierced it, we reached the space, called epidural space, where we inject the local anesthetic to achieve epidural anesthesia. The next layer is dura matter. When we cross it, we enter the subdural space. Next to subdural space, there is another layer called the arachnoid matter, When we cross it, we enter the subarachnoid space, which is the most important space, which have the CSF, where we inject the local anesthetic to achieve the spinal block. This is CSF. I have draw with blue color. We enter the spinal needle I am going to draw with red color, which cross all these layer and enter the subarachnoid space. Through the spinal needle, we inject the local anesthetic to this space to achieve the desire block. There is the last layer, which is called the pia matter. There is also some ligament, posterior and anterior longitudinal ligament. And the last one is the body of vertebrae. Now the quick review, the layer to pierced, skin. The second one is subcutaneous tissues. Third is the supraspinous ligament. The fourth one is interspinous ligament. The next one is ligament flavum. When we cross it, we enter epidural space. Next layer is dura matter. After dura, there is another space called subdural space. Next layer is the arachnoid matter, and another layer is pia matter. Between these layer is the subarachnoid space where CSF present. This is all about the structures or layers that we pierced during spinal anesthesia. Thanks for watching.